Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn by Kennard Pack As trees sway in the cool breeze, blue jays head south and leaves change their colors, everyone knows autumn is on its way. Join a young girl as she takes a walk through forest and town, greeting all the signs of the coming season. In a series of conversations with every flower and creature and gust of wind, she says goodbye to summer and welcomes autumn. Summer Green to Autumn Gold, Uncovering Leaves Hidden Colors by Mia Posada this nonfiction picture book beautifully explains why leaves change color in fall. It highlights both the eye-catching colors of the season and the science behind the colors. Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn by James Dean and Kimberly Dean Pete the Cat isn't sure about the changing of the seasons from summer to autumn, but when he discovers corn mazes, hay rides, and apple picking, Pete realizes there's so much to enjoy and be thankful for about autumn. Little Goose's Autumn by Ellie Willard and Bryony May Smith As summer fades to autumn, a lively young goose feels a change in the air and senses she has something important to do. But what? The beavers are chopping wood, the squirrels are storing nuts in the ground, and the bears are busy building a den. The plucky little goose tries to join in, but without great success. She realizes her wings weren't built for chopping wood, burying food, or building a den, but they were built for something magnificent. They were built for flight. Fall Ball by Peter McCarty. Bobby and his friends wait all day for school to end and for their chance to play outdoors in the fall weather. Flying leaves, swirling colors, and crisp air make the perfect setting for a game of football with Sparky the dog. The kids are surprised by how quickly it gets dark, and even more surprised when it begins to snow. But there's no need to worry. The chilly nights ahead will mean watching football on the couch of family, tucked under a cozy blanket. In the Middle of Fall by Kevin Henkes and Laura Dronzek. In the middle of fall, it takes only one gust of wind to turn the whole world yellow and red and orange. This story introduces the unique beauty of the fall season, and the expressive illustrations illuminate pumpkins, apples, falling leaves, busy squirrels, and the transformation from colorful autumn to frosty winter. Yellow Time by Lauren Stringer. Children and animals alike excitedly anticipate yellow time when the trees release their colorful leaves to blanket the earth. Crows raise their voices joyfully from the bare branches and squirrels busy themselves preparing their nests for winter. This lyrical celebration of the beauty and fun of autumn is sure to become a perennial fall favorite. Hocus Pocus, It's Fall by Anne Sibley O'Brien and Susan Gall. Eleven gratefuls open to recreate the excitement and surprise of fall's arrival, revealing what happens when the leaves turn. Fall is a season of transition. Apples are picked and animals prepare for winter. Summer days are coming to an end and there's a hint of winter in the air. Hocus Pocus, It's Fall, celebrates the magic of that in-between time. From Apple Trees to Cider, Please by Felicia Sanzari Cherneski and Julia Patton Grab the wagon, it's a bright autumn day, and the trees are full of ripe red apples. There's an apple festival underway, at the farm and lots of work to do making cider. This visit finishes with a cider donut and a cup of freshly pressed cider. Delicious. Told in crisp, action-driven rhymes from a young child's point of view, this book is a realistic account of how apple cider is pressed 
flavored with the charm and vigor of a harvest celebration. Little Tree by Lauren Long In the middle of a little forest, there lives a little tree who loves his life and the splendid leaves that keep him cool in the heat of long summer days. Life is perfect just the way it is. Autumn arrives and with it the cool winds that ruffle little tree's leaves. One by one, the other trees drop their leaves, facing the cold of winter head on. But not Little Tree. He hugs his leaves as tightly as he can. Year after year, Little Tree remains unchanged, despite words of encouragement from a squirrel, a fawn, and a fox, his leaves having long since turned brown and withered. As Little Tree sits in the shadow of the other trees, now grown sturdy and tall as though to touch the sun, he remembers when they were all the same size, and he knows he has an important decision to make. Because of an Acorn by Lola Schaefer, Adam Schaefer, and Fran Preston Gannon Because of an acorn, a tree grows, a bird nests, a seed becomes a flower, Enchanting die cuts illustrate the vital connections between the layers of an ecosystem in this magical book. Wander down the forest path to learn how every tree, flower, plant, and animal connect to one another in spiraling circles of life. An acorn is just the beginning. Penguin and Pumpkin by Selina Yoon Penguin's curiosity about fall sends him on a journey to a faraway farm, but his younger brother Pumpkin is too little to come along. Can Penguin find a perfect way to bring the joys of the season back home so Pumpkin can join the fun? Fall is for Friends by Susie Spafford Susie Duckin and her friend Emily Marmot love autumn because they like to jump into piles of dry leaves. But the leaves aren't falling from the trees, so the two girls try everything they can think of to encourage the leaves to fall. Leaf Jumpers by Carol Gerber and Leslie Evans This vibrant poem celebrates the beauty of autumn while inviting us all to go ahead and jump in that big, colorful pile of fall leaves. Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf by Lois Ellert Lois Ellert uses watercolor collage and pieces of actual seeds, fabric, wire, and roots in this innovative and rich introduction to the life of a tree. A special glossary explains how roots absorb nutrients, what photosynthesis is, and how sap circulates, and other facts about trees.